the other day, I pulled my rib stick that's like 12 years old out of storage, and I noticed that the wheel was all torn up. So I took it off, and I put a rollerblade wheel on it, and it worked for about a mile until the rollerblade wheel melted. So there's that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 3D print a new wheel out of PETG and see if it works. So the wheel's been printed. I used the 0.6 millimeter nozzle for speed, and it took five hours still. I used 65% cubic infill and cura, and five layers of thickness. It's so now tested. Got my Mr. V6 helmet. It's pretty cool. I hear weird sounds happening. But I am riding it right now. I don't know if that's clear today. I think it probably just has to be worn down. Yeah, it's probably not perfectly straight. Ooh, look. The outer layer, it's just peeling off. Okay. Probably because it's not straight. But let's see if I can just peel the outer layer off. This ground's a little rougher, so if it's gonna fall apart, it's gonna fall apart. I hear I hear the layer coming apart. I wonder if I go fast enough and heat up the wheel. If it'll make it sh oh, well, never mind. It's falling apart. <laughs> I was gonna say I wonder if I can heat it up and then get it to the hard a little, but the second layer's coming off. You can see that. And I think I'm gonna try this again after this wheel's gone with the. I'll use the biggest nozzle I have, which is a one millimeter nozzle, and I'll do a hundred percent infill. So no matter how many layers come off there'll still be something left because I have five layers, five outer layers right now. So I think once I get through the five layers, it's just gonna crumble. The layers just keep coming apart. So now I'm gonna try a bigger nozzle, 100% infill, and I'll move it to the front wheel. And I'll move the stronger original wheel to the back and I'll see how long that lasts. So I reprinted the wheel using a one millimeter nozzle and a hundred percent infill and I only used one outer layer this time because last time I used five and each one just individually started peeling off. So now there's one so if that peels off it'll just face solid plastic essentially. So I'll see if this works. This is take number two with the 3D printed wheel on a ripstick. I moved it to the front now because the rear wheel moves a lot more on the ground. It moves back and forth. This one usually just stays a little more straight. So we'll see how it goes. It's working so far. You can definitely see how much less the front wheel moves. But this ground's pretty rough, so I, I feel like it's tearing into it right now. So let's 
see. It feels pretty smooth actually. The last one started tearing off right away. This one, it seems that it's smoothed down a little. So it's still working. It hasn't fallen apart. So I'm gonna say it's a success because it replaced my old wheel and it still works. So can you 3D print a rift stick wheel out of PETG? Yes.